It's happening. It's happening. They're ready for the oven. Good morning, I've just finished a little workout. I'm sitting on my floor and it's about 10 o'clock on Monday morning right now. I just did a very quick little hustle workout, a 20 minute one. And I moved my mirror over here because we got a new fridge on the weekend. That's our old one right there. <laughs> and that's where our mirror was. That's just why that's like that, in case you were wondering. We've got this little asleep over here. Maybe we'll put some lights on. We tried to peel off this sticker and how annoying when stickers don't come off aesthetically and all in one go. I think that is one of the most annoying things ever. Anyway, we need to get something to get that off properly. This is our new fridge. I'm really just getting straight into it in this vlog. We don't have a whole lot in here at the moment, as you can probably tell. Well, I mean, there's a few things, but this in our old fridge was chock-a-block full, like could not fit a single thing. And now so much room. Exciting times, Lee and I bought our old fridge, this one from Facebook Marketplace back in 2020 and it served us well. I feel like it's been so long since I've vlogged and my apologies for that. I lost my camera battery charger and I was convinced it was going to show up somewhere and it hasn't so I ended up buying a new one and then that charger wasn't working but we're back and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I normally post every two weeks on this channel but it has been a little bit longer since my last upload when you'll be watching this. We also have a new little coffee section behind us. It's been a while, you guys haven't seen this. So we went and picked up a coffee machine. Actually, we ordered this from Amazon and it arrived the other day. I've also been busy in my cupboard labeling things, which is very fun and aesthetic and pleasing for me. So what are we getting right now? We're gonna get some greens. Down here is a little bit more crazy. The new Naked Harvest greens, they're quite yummy. I think I prefer the banana flavor personally, but these are still really, really good. I bought this jacket yesterday from Kmart and it was $20. It just <laughs> snatches me in. I feel like I could probably take this down a little bit. Or does that look weird? I don't know. It was a little bit tight on my neck though. But for breakfast this morning, I'm just gonna have some coconut yogurt. Actually, no, it's soy protein yogurt. I found it yesterday at the shops. I haven't been that hungry in the morning, but I don't wanna skip breakfast. I'm just having some yogurt. I feel like that's a good option with some banana and peanut butter. This is the soy protein yogurt I found. I've tried the Coco Bella one which was really really lovely except they didn't have it when I went to the shops yesterday so I've just ended up with a soy one. It's vanilla flavor though so I'm sure it's yummy. Let's give it a little taste. It's definitely vegan right? Let's try it. It's got small little clumps of something in there. I don't know if that's supposed to be in there, but not bad. It's got 16 grams of protein per serve. I'm not crazy about having protein or anything, but I'm just trying to increase my protein intake because I was reflecting on the foods that I was eating and I realized that they weren't super high in protein. So I'm just making sure that I'm eating a bit more of a well-rounded diet at the moment. That's actually not bad. And 15.4 grams of protein per serve. Okay, this is gonna be cut short because we have a fire evacuation happening in my building, like a practice one. I forgot about it though, I better go get the all because he's gonna freak out. Guys, it's five o'clock right now and I'm just heading to the shops to go get some stuff for dinner because I'm craving pasta and so that's what I'm off to go make. I'm going, sorry a car was just coming in and my camera is facing directly in the direction when they can see me vlogging and I'm not quite that level of confidence right now with my neighbours. Be speaking to a camera while they drive past. But yes, we're having 
protein pasta I think for dinner with some yummy roast veg and I'm going to do a creamy pesto sauce. I have like a jar one already in my fridge so I'm just going to use that. And what else will we add to it? Maybe some yummy nuts and stuff. My brain I feel like hasn't quite switched off from doing worky stuff today. So I hope that this makes sense. We do have HelloFresh stuff at home or in the fridge, but it's more salad-y, which I feel like is a side dish for me. Don't really want a salad for dinner. Fair enough if you do, but I don't. I don't know, I just thought I'd do roasted onion. Do you think it'll taste right? Absolutely. How thinly do we want this chopped? Um, not like, well, they're gonna be in chunks, little chunks, because we're roasting it and popping it in, so. I would probably do Not something. thin slices. No, we're not doing slices, sorry. We'll probably do something like, I'm thinking, I don't know, if that's mm -hmm. too chunky. Because we'll roast it up nicely. Oh, and we're going to use fresh basil from our herb garden. Yay. Yeah, they're ready for the oven. the camera yesterday or today to check to you guys until now. Yesterday I just hung out with my friend Miles. She came over and there are these little office nooks in my building so we were just down there working. Today I've just kind of been doing computer stuff as well. It's basically been my day. I went for a lovely beach walk both mornings with the girls. I fully intended to sit down and have a little chatty get ready with me moment while I did my makeup but I'm running late. I'll chat with you and sit down properly at a later date in this vlog but just I really don't want to be running late to my dinner tonight and I know that if I chat and just take my time a bit more. I probably will be running a little bit behind schedule. Option one, which is these new cotton on jeans I bought the other day, and this lovely, you can't really see it, can you? Lovely little bodysuit, which I got from Supre, and it's actually so incredibly flattering. You feel really good in it. That's an option with some white shoes. I'm thinking these ones, and either a white bag, or we could do a red bag, or I could do a brown bag. So these are the options. That's outfit one. Maybe I'll try it on, actually. This is option one. I definitely enjoy this outfit. It's very comfortable, and I just feel like because I've got over an hour of drive to get to Brizzy, I'm comfy in this. And these are really flattering jeans, cute top. I mean, it's simple, but it works. You guys, I'm reading Kingdom of Ash and I'm up to the last 200 pages. In the part that I just read, my jaw was on the floor. I need to go find my pen so I can highlight this, come back to it forever because that was the coolest thing ever. I'm not gonna give anything away, of course, but Oh my gosh, that was, that's just made my whole day. He's actually so heavy now. <laughs> you are so heavy. So I'm about to go for a little walk. It is overcast again today, but I don't think it's raining outside. I should probably go check that first because I'll take a rain jacket with me. I 
grabbed this salted caramel peanut butter it's on clearance and I actually have wanted to try the cookie dough one but since this one was reduced and literally half price I thought I'd try this one we'll give it a bit of a stir first I think I wouldn't say it's salted caramel it tastes like a sweet peanut butter I think that'll taste really nice I got some vegan Greek yogurt which you would have seen so I'm picturing that, that, and then I also bought some granola. So I've been loving coconut matcha made with coconut water, and I wanted to show you guys how I make it for the past couple of mornings, and it's so yummy. All you do is add your matcha, as you know, I think I showed this in this vlog earlier, it's my favorite one. Probably add like that much. I boiled this a little while ago, so it's not boiling, but just quite warm. Just did that a bit of a well. I only have this coconut water, but normally I use the Cocoa Coast one, I think it's called. I forgot to get some when I was at the shops this morning, so we'll just be using this. And I do maybe that much. And this is a lovely green color. I also like to add some ice cubes. And then I like to add some Cocoa Quench coconut milk. And that's it. It's literally so yummy. It tastes like a delicious dessert. I'm really obsessed with them. Definitely think that the other coconut water is my favorite, but this one still tastes really yummy and it's quite sweet. So you don't need to add sugar, but you could totally still add sugar. I'm someone that loves sweet matches though, and this one to me is sweet enough. Little some cat grass from the market <laughs> straight into it. You're currently balancing on my coffee pods and not a lick, so hopefully this stays. I met up with my friend this morning and we went to the markets at 6 a.m. I came home, dropped off the stuff, and then Lee and I went back out and grabbed a coffee from our old area. Or we grabbed a coffee. I had this really yummy coconut chai from the markets this morning. Yeah, I think it's like nine o'clock right now. No, it's ten o'clock. And we have no plans today, which is so nice. I really just want to read, find a new book to read after finishing Throne of Glass yesterday. And probably just do a bit of a clean of the apartment. I feel like I'm always cleaning it, but I get it dirty really quickly. I'm gonna watch a scary movie tonight and maybe cook up some pasta because I got some pasta from the markets this morning. But if not, oh my gosh, they will not drink water. <laughs> it's out of the tap. Like, is he serious? Excuse all this, it's dirty, but he was just looking for gross water at the bottom. <laughs> Of the sink because he won't drink the water out of his bowl. guys it's like an hour or so later and i've just made myself an iced coconut water matcha i'm about to go to the shops to get some stuff for dinner and get theodore's cat food i need to go to aldi on their weekly specials they have this piece of furniture that we want for the couch to put on the corner it's like an exact dupe from a temple and webster i don't know what you call it but it's like those little wooden stands that you put over the end of your couch so that you can put drinks and food and stuff on it it's only 40 dollars, and so the one we're looking at on temple webster was 260 dollars. it looks basically the same i'm gonna go check and see if they have that and i just thought i'd give you guys a little update because i realized i haven't actually explained in this vlog a few things i was thinking about it before and i was like oh you're probably a little bit confused firstly you might be wondering how i'm managing to do a weekly vlog again because i was doing my social support work and doing those most like four days a week and couldn't vlog normally but i literally just stopped working with the client that i was working with and i'm in between finding a new client at the moment i have someone lined up but it kind of hasn't started yet there's that Secondly, I don't think I actually explained where we're going to when we booked the flights the other day, which, yeah, you're probably wondering. We're going to Europe and we're leaving Liam and I, that is when I say we, Liam, there. It doesn't really feel real. I've wanted to go to Europe my whole entire life and I just kind of have imposter, imposter syndrome with it and thought that I would never get there. So the fact that we're going in May is just so crazy. I'm extremely grateful and it's just wild. So that's what we booked, that's what 
that I'm super excited about and it's going to come around so quickly because it's already the end of April and May's not that far away. I'll give you guys more updates about that as it comes along but the other update is that I think I'm going to vlog, sorry I put the all off on my face as usual. I'm pretty sure next week as well I want to take you guys along with me because I finally found a regular psychologist which is amazing because I've been looking for a psychologist for quite a while now. I haven't clicked with any but I've found this amazing lady. I want to take you along for that journey because I definitely have been struggling a bit mentally. I don't have like an official diagnosis from a psychologist yet so I'm gonna wait until I do to chat about that a bit more but just being completely open and transparent about that. So that's something I definitely want to take you along with me for. My next psychologist appointment is on Wednesday. I've already had one with this lady and she's so amazing. I kind of thought I was never gonna find a good psychologist because I feel like I've been to quite a few and didn't click with them. I knew it wasn't my psychologist. I'm going weekly. I just couldn't get into her for two weeks, if that makes sense, from the first to the second appointment. After that, it's weekly and then it'll be fortnightly. And that's kind of all my updates. <laughs> I'm about to head to the shops, I think I said that, to go get Fiddle some cat meat from Aldi, some kangaroo meat. Oh, <laughs> Update from me, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. We're just having a chilled out day at home. It's overcast, it's gloomy weather, and it's very, very cozy. Hello friends, it's Sunday afternoon. It's about one o'clock, I believe right now, and I've just gotten out of bed. I really needed a lazy day at home where I'm not on my phone. That's a key factor and I'm just doing absolutely nothing. I definitely struggle with completely relaxing and not feeling guilty about it. Anyway, it's something that I'm working on and I'm going to speak to my psychologist about this week actually. But today I don't feel guilty at all and I'm just being in bed. I've finished a book. I just felt like reading. I didn't want to, like I said, be on my phone. So I finished a Freedom McFadden book called The Coworker. This one is called The Teacher and I'm like 25% through this one. I'm gonna watch Netflix. It's a good day and it's such a different feeling than if I'm laying in bed relaxing scrolling on my phone. This just leaves me feeling completely different and I feel like lately I have gone to such a habit of just picking up my phone mindlessly and I'm not even aware I'm doing it but I just find myself going through Instagram, scrolling through TikTok, it's like this vortex, I get sucked into it and I never feel satisfied with any amount of time. I'm never like oh that will do me for now. Like I always want to keep coming back which I know is a normal thing as well it's that dopamine hit that you get from scrolling and all the short form content but it's actually lately just affecting me I feel like so much I've been comparing myself more and I listened to this podcast the other day do you effing mind and she was talking about how we've never had much access to other people's lives that we have today and so much easier obviously to compare yourself to people before it used to be just from you know it's never good to compare yourself but it is a natural thing but you know, now you can, pay, can compare yourself to people all over the world instead of just from your area. That was a really great podcast episode actually. And I sat with that for a while and I thought that is so true. So I'm consciously trying to limit my phone time. My phone is not even in the room with me. I don't even have it in here because I'll be so, so tempted to just pick it up just for a quick little scroll, but I haven't done that today. And that's been really nice. My plans for the rest of the afternoon are just to relax, keep reading, like I said, watch some Netflix or some YouTube. Remember as well if I showed you the pasta that I made last night. I made the yummiest pasta recipe. Holy, it was so good. And I don't think I showed you guys. I'm having leftovers tonight for dinner, so I'll show you then. It's also the ultimate cozy day today and I'm just so happy about it. I just feel so good at laying in bed. And it's such a good feeling to finally feel good about it and not to think that I've wasted a day or wasted a Sunday or could have done something else, blah, blah, blah. I feel really good, so this is your sign. You struggle with just completely relaxing and having a day to yourself, to just take it. Maybe try doing it without your phone too. This is today's workout fit. The top's actually from Kmart. You guys, this is such good quality and it was $10, two hands, <laughs> $10. And then I've got Zep underneath and then these are Zep pants as well. It's a little set, it's actually really cute. But this quality is insane and it was, yeah, $10 from Kmart. I got it the other day and this is what I look like after a run. My hair is crazy. I just ran for, wait, let me cover the calories up. I just ran for 23 minutes, but that felt like an hour. We've got Phil here with us because he's a smelly little boy and he's got pee all up in. And I'm going to wash his little butt. Okay, because this is all pee on him. And he doesn't like the water very much, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, you're biting mommy. Thank you. That 
was reasonably good behaviour. Louis sits with his paws on even. It's so funny. Good boy. I got myself ready for my day but I realized that I started another weekly vlog without ending this one properly so I'm going to finish this video here but thank you so much for watching if you stayed this long I'm super grateful as always and I'll see you in my next video